Hi and a very good day. So in this video session, I will discuss about uh, what we call it as vector and matrix operation. Okay. So under this topic, okay, the most important things that you need to know is how you can subset, okay, our object or index. We call it as indexing. Alright. So basically, this uh, square bracket operator, okay, I already introduced you with our previous uh, lab session okay so we can consider this square bracket as the search bar okay what are uh, what are actually we try to find okay so uh, the thing is uh, we say that we try to subset we try to get uh, subset means that suppose that you have uh, this vector okay right so you just want this number three okay so you subset okay number three at position three so uh, so you will get okay three. that's we call as subset okay so let's take a look at the example all right so the first example here i show you on how to subset a vector okay so to a subset a vector suppose that we have this uh, vector okay we have this uh sorry we have this x object which is this s object consists of a b c c d a okay this is the element in our x object okay so now suppose that you want to extract the first element okay as we can uh, uh, as i mentioned before because a vector when we're talking about vector every element in our vector has position Okay, so you can extract based on it position. So the first position here is, okay, uh, this is the first position, second, third, fourth, and so on. That's why when we want to extract the first element, we just simply write in R as X subsetting. You use the square bracket. Okay, and then X what if you want D here? Okay, what the answer for uh, this? Okay, if you want D here. So, as we can see, D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the fifth element. So, if you want, if you want D only, okay, what we do? X, 5, okay. And R will give you this particular element okay so uh, it does not necessary that you extract just one element you can also extract multiple element as example here we want to extract okay the first element up to the fourth element okay or you can also give a specific number of element okay you want one okay you want three and then you want four that's how you get this uh, output and of course it's not necessary that you put the position you can also use the conditions conditional statement here to test whether okay to find x x which x greater than a okay uh, so this is an alphabetical order so you know that when we're dealing with alphabetical it will follow the alphabetical order so what are the order that greater than a so it will give you all of this okay x uh, except this there is no a in uh, the element that when uh, the subsetting that we choose right so that's as example okay next okay suppose that you want to subset a matrix okay again when we dealing with matrix okay remember that matrix have row and column okay they have a specific row this is column sorry okay this is column and this is row so they have a specific row and column okay so that's why when we want to subset uh, subsetting a metric you need to specify its row and column that's why this is the thing 
Okay. Uh, what if you want to extract all the first row, uh, uh, the first row and all column? Here, yeah? the first row and the uh, you want just this. Okay. Uh, right. So you want this. Okay. Uh, extract the first row. Okay. Uh, so what happen? Okay. Uh, you just simply leave it blank. If you want all uh, row, you just simply leave this blank. Okay. So that's example. Subsetting a metric. Okay. Uh, this is a thing. Okay. Uh, dropping metric dimension. Okay. Suppose that uh, as this uh, as our previous example, when you do subsetting like this. Okay. X one okay leave it blank okay so what are the meaning behind this subsetting okay you want okay you want what the first row first row and all column why all column because we leave it as blank okay uh, so uh, here okay if you just type like this what happened this output will return as vector but what if you need the dimension okay if you need the dimension you need to add extra argument here which is drop equals to false and what happened you subset the matrix and the dimension uh, the dimension uh, the dimension characteristic is still intact okay uh, our subsetting still have a matrix structure uh, they have okay in here they have one row and three column okay that's uh, the difference between if you adding and not adding this argument okay All right okay so uh, for this example how can you subset a list okay to subset a leaf uh, list you actually can use uh, three different kind of operator okay a single square bracket a double square bracket and the dollar sign so what the different okay so let's take a look at um, okay this list okay, this is example okay and what are the result this is actually our list because of what okay uh, if you see the output like this it is actually a list so suppose that you want to subset okay you can try okay so you want to subset the first okay you use the double square first okay uh, the operator can be used to extract single element from a list uh, so suppose that uh, in our previous uh, slide okay what they give they give you all the element in the first uh, in the first list and then also you can use the name of the list okay in other way in other way okay this if you don't want to use the double square bracket this like this you can use instead of double square bracket you can use the dollar sign okay you will get the same result All right okay that's the thing okay and then uh, the next topic is about uh, actually you can uh, add okay you can okay you can multiple you can divide you can uh, you can try uh, this example but uh, the thing is uh, i want to highlight at the la our in our last slide here okay uh, okay uh, as we can see here suppose that you're dealing with matrix and then you want to multiply uh, multiply the true matrix multiplication okay it means that it follow matrix time matrix okay it's actually different than this okay it, when you do suppose that x is a matrix y is a matrix and then you want to multiply okay uh, it is actually not following the true matrix multiplication okay uh, a a b c d okay uh, a b sorry uh, clear all right uh, should be i use okay uh, a b 
B C D A B C D right if you want to okay uh, if you want to multi multiply okay uh, so it's not follow if you use this kind of uh, use this uh, operator it's actually straightforward uh, multiply okay a times a okay b times b c times c d times c but of course if you want a true matrix multiplication following the rule of matrix multiplication you should put this operator instead of this okay so i think that's all for this video session uh, thank you guys for listening if you don't ha uh, if you have any question you can uh, reply at the comment below okay thank you guys see you